Welcome to the very first Brain Pickers episode. Featuring Lena Ross of Change Hacks and Dr. Jen Fram of Conversations of Change. Yay, it's a festive season and Jen's dropped in for a Christmas drink, which is fantastic. We've got the Christmas tree, the crackling fire, the red wine, and every time Jen and I get together, invariably, the conversation goes to work. And um, that is change management, guys. So um, the conversation today started as we started having our first drink together over what the year looked like for change management being 2016. Yeah. What were your highlights and what was your year in review? It was a huge year, Lena. And yeah. When I actually think about it, um, I think it was really characterised by a lot of themes of trying new stuff yeah. for myself um, and pushing myself out of the boundaries of what I'd done before. Mm -hmm. So this year I launched the podcast, The Conversations of Change podcast. I've listened to some of those, they're damn good. So it, yeah. Thank you, thank you. And you know what? The most entertaining thing of that was actually being a newbie again and having to learn how to actually create podcasts and get them out yeah. And do all that stuff. Chatting with change experts is probably not so new to me, yeah. but the technical side okay. of it was really fun to learn. So, you know, I think the the other things I did the virtual change management summit that was you know new yeah. and out there. That was with um, change management review. Change management yeah, review, that's right. Which yeah. was also a new yeah. entry into the market, which yeah. was was quite good to work with. I think um, had a big year of speaking engagements. So yes, agile Oz. Agile Australia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, that was that was really entertaining. I got to speak with Nick Martin, who mm -hmm. I worked with last year, mm. um, who's a fantastic change practitioner. Yeah. On what does agile change management look like, and it created such um, a buzz in terms of pulling out all this conflict between agile people and change managers, and yeah, it was an interesting thing. But you've seen the same with the agile. Absolutely, space, yeah. Like. And you've got a really good blog on that, yeah. as well as a YouTube clip on that. Mm -hmm. um, which takes us, I think, to that point that that's been a big thing for this year, hasn't it? Oh, that making change people, making sense of agile yep. and the hybrid agile world. And the, and the difference between agile projects and turning an organisation agile. Yeah, absolutely. You know, the big yeah. A and the little A. Yeah. And I think, you know, if we think about what's going to happen next year, mm -hmm. we are going to be so bored with the term agile change by the end of next year. Yeah. Because you're going to see this plethora of people coming out with methodologies and workshops, and you and I are going to be part of that with yeah. offerings. Yeah, watch this space. Watch this space. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, I, I think it's really going to dominate next year is the agile change management. I think so, yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, one of the things I've seen um, this year also has been making sense of um, agile and that collapse of the old power and giving way to the new power mm. and how that's influencing the ways people are working and then the future of work mm. type of stuff. Um, what about books? Tell me about books okay. and your and your the book you're working the book you're working on. Those <laughs> books, the book. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So look, this year also at the beginning of the year I started the year by being really public about I'm writing a book. <laughs> Um, and it's probably been the one area that I've been a bit disappointed with that I haven't had as much traction by the end of the year that I would have liked to on the book. You've been busy so, doing other things, well, though, seriously. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, if there's a Santa's list and a, a yeah. dear Santa list, it's dear Santa, you know, uh, give us some motivation to finish the book. Yeah, you know? I hear you, um, I hear you. You're doing the same, right? I am doing the same and I need the same motivation. I need discipline um, and probably a book coach. Mm. Hey. On the topic of books, yep. you've been reading some good stuff I lately. Yep. So there must be some good stuff out there for people to, for Christmas gifts, maybe. Because yeah. you've said you've mentioned you've mentioned a couple of good Excellent. books anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, I think there's two books I'd be recommending for Christmas gifts this year. The first is Sean Callahan's um, Putting Stories to Work. Awesome, awesome. Mm -hmm. In terms of for those people who are looking to lead change or engage people. Um, both in terms of the, the practical ability, in terms of how do you gather yeah. stories and turn it around. Yeah. It's so beautifully written, so yeah. you know, I think that's a real treat. The other book that I'm loving at the moment, it's brand new, it's done by Kylie Lewis um, and of the company of Kin, and it's more targeted to people who are undergoing change and perhaps have to change their careers and, and not sure okay. where they go next. And it's these lovely case studies of entrepreneurial women who've made the leap. So the book is called The Leap. Um, and they've made the leap into future careers. And I think we often see a lot of that with people Absolutely. in organisations. Yeah. Where do I go next because of this yeah. change? 
And that sounds like a really good um, combination of being a receiver of change, a book for a receiver and a yeah. book for an initiator totally. of change, yeah, yeah. which sounds really good. Yeah. Now, I guess I'm also thinking about um, the themes for next year mm. will probably pr pretty much be the themes that we've seen this Look. year around making sense of that agile. Yeah, explosion of agile. Mm -hmm. I think we can expect to see a lot more on design thinking. Yeah, yes, yeah, um, definitely. And also, Oh, this is my hope for next year, is we see more about the humanity of change in organisations mm -hmm. and that our role as change <coughs> practitioners is really about how do we activate humanity in organisations yeah. more so than, you know, just do our change projects. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you on what, that. What would you say? Yeah, I, and building on that is um, I think change managers have had a set of capabilities that have served them well mm -hmm. for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. And now with um, Agile, dare I use the D word, disruption, mm -hmm. and um, the new ways of working, there's a whole set of new capabilities that we need to get our heads around as well. Absolutely. It's exciting. Yep. Um, it's an exciting opportunity. But um, it would also be great, wouldn't it, to hear from the change community That's and same. beyond on what they think their big hitters are um, coming up for the next 12 months yep. because you know what they can pick our brains about it at one of these sessions can't they yeah, you're, gonna be doing more of these. and you're going to come back here for another yep. drink sometime aren't you absolutely so we will do this again so our details are going to be at the end of this session and we'd love to hear from you guys um, on, on what's keeping you up at night about change and we'll talk about it lovely happy holidays everybody. oh yes yes Happy festive season to you, Jen. Indeed. And, and to our, um, our community out there. Good one. If you want to pick their brains, find out more here.